The number of daily new cases is up, surging above 2,500 new cases on Tuesday, which has brought the number of active cases above 17,000. On Tuesday, there were 2,577 new COVID cases, marking a substantial increase in daily new cases compared to Monday and the days before that. Now, this comes amid the spread of a new Omicron subvariant, the BA4 and BA5. The Tuesday's addition of 2,577 COVID cases has brought the total number of active cases above 17,000. Previously, the Indonesian Minister of Health, Budi Gunadi Sadikin, predicted that the peak of the spread of the Omicron subvariant will occur in the second and third week of July. At that peak, Indonesia's health minister is predicting that Indonesia could see 16 to 17,000 COVID cases per day. Now, amid the increase in cases, the Indonesian government have now tightened public activity and mobility restrictions once again. Activity restrictions in numerous cities and regions have been tightened and raised to level two, including Tangerang, Bogor, Bekasi, and Depok. But the capital city of Jakarta will continue to implement the most lenient level one activity restrictions after a policy revision by the Minister of Ministry of Interior Affairs. Now, meanwhile, the Indonesian Minister of Health, Budi Gunadi Sadikin, said he was confident that Indonesia can handle this new wave of infections as Indonesians are more compliant when it comes to health protocols. Hasil diskusi dengan para epidemiolog itu disebabkan karena kekurang waspadaan dari beberapa negara dan terlalu terburu-buru mengendurkan protokol kesehatan maupun vaksinasi. Indonesia relatif jauh lebih baik dengan populasi yang sangat banyak menghadapi gelombang BA4, BA5 ini karena relatif para masyarakat Indonesia itu lebih disiplin dalam menerapkan protokol kesehatan dan juga dalam melaksanakan vaksinasi. Now, as mentioned, despite the rise in COVID cases, the Indonesian capital city of Jakarta will continue to implement level one activity restrictions, which is the most lenient level of restrictions. Now, previously on Tuesday, the Indonesian government raised activity restrictions in Jakarta to level two following a surge in COVID cases. However, following a revision by the Ministry of Interior Affairs, activity restrictions in Jakarta have now been lowered to the most lenient level one restrictions. This means that malls and shopping centers can operate at 100% capacity, while religious prayer sites, cinemas, gyms, and other public facilities can all operate at 100% capacity. This is despite the fact that Jakarta has seen a surge in COVID cases. On Tuesday, there were 1,200 new cases in Jakarta, which is 50% of the new cases that day. Nevertheless, restaurants can now also operate at full capacity, which comes as a relief as many restaurateurs lamented that the raising of activity restrictions had led to a steep drop in revenues. Harapannya sih ya PPKM-nya segera berakhir sih karena kan kemarin pada saat level 1 sendiri itu untuk omset kita sendiri sudah mulai membaik ya. Nah, untuk level 2 ini karena baru 2 hari ini kita belum tahu dampak penurunannya seperti apa. Nah, tapi sebelumnya pada saat di level 2 ini ya dampak penurunannya itu sangat terasa ya karena tidak bisa 100% WFO, jadi karyawan tidak bisa ke sini sih.